Every time you step onto a plane, you probably hear that flying is the safest mode of transportation. Yet, whenever a plane crash happens, it's catastrophic. If flying is so safe, why do crashes feel like the most horrifying disasters ever? And if driving is statistically more dangerous, why don't we feel the same level of fear when getting into a car? Let's break down this paradox and uncover the shocking truth behind why flying is both incredibly safe and terrifyingly deadly. Flying versus driving, which is actually more dangerous? Let's start with some cold, hard numbers. Car accidents. There are about 5.2 million car crashes in the U.S. every year, leading to 39,000 deaths annually. Plane crashes. There are less than 20 fatal airliner crashes per year worldwide, and the chance of dying in one is about 1 in 11 million. That means you are literally more likely to be struck by lightning, attacked by a shark, or win the lottery than die in a plane crash. But hey, let's all collectively panic when we hit a little turbulence, right? Why do plane crashes feel more terrifying? 1. Lack of control When you drive, you feel in control of your safety. But when you're on a plane, you're just sitting there, sipping your overpriced airport coffee, while someone else flies a 200-ton metal tube through the sky. Fun, right? The drama factor Plane crashes make global headlines, while car crashes barely make it to the local news. If we treated car crashes the same way, we'd never leave our driveways. 3. Survival instincts Most car accidents involve fender benders, but when a plane goes down, it's usually a big deal. Our brains are wired to fear the worst-case scenario, even when it's statistically unlikely. 4. Fear of heights and falling Humans are naturally terrified of falling from high places. So yeah, dropping from 35,000 feet, your brain is not a fan. 5. Hollywood Effect Thanks to movies, we all think turbulence equals the plane is going down. In reality, turbulence is just Mother Nature's way of reminding you that you didn't secure your drink properly. Why is flying so incredibly safe? Despite all the drama, flying remains the safest way to travel. Here's why. Highly trained pilots. These guys go through thousands of hours of training. Meanwhile, half the people on the road barely pass their their driving test, advanced technology and automation, modern airplanes basically fly themselves. No offense to pilots, but autopilot is the real MVP. Extreme maintenance and safety checks. Planes are inspected more often than your dentist recommends flossing. Air traffic control systems. Planes are constantly monitored. No one is texting while flying a commercial jet, unlike your Uber driver. Planes can glide without engines. Yes, even if both engines fail, planes don't just fall out of the sky. They can glide for miles and attempt an emergency landing. Miracle on the Hudson that wasn't luck, just solid training in physics. Why are plane crashes so catastrophic? Flying is safe, but when things go wrong, they tend to go really wrong. Here's why. 1. Altitude and speed. Planes cruise at 35,000 feet and over 500 miles per hour. That's a lot of energy in motion. If something fails, there's not a lot of room for error. 2. Limited escape options. In a car crash, you can pull over and walk away. In a plane, not so much. 3. Extreme impact forces. A car crash at 40 miles per hour is one thing. A plane hitting the ground? That's a whole different level of force. 4. Fire and explosion risks. Planes carry tons of fuel. Enough said. 5. Hitting water. Is not like the movies. You don't just gently land on the ocean. At high speeds, water might as well be concrete. How safe are you really when flying? To put things in perspective, your odds of dying in a car accident, 1 in 107. Your odds of dying in a plane crash, 1 in 11 million. You are literally more likely to die from choking on a hot dog than from a plane crash. But sure, let's all keep gripping our armrests whenever we hear the seatbelt sign ding. So next time you feel nervous about flying, remember, pilots are highly trained. Planes are inspected constantly. Statistically, you're safer in the air than on the road. Turbulence is just sky potholes. Relax. Now it's your turn. What do you think? Do you feel safer flying or driving? Let me know in the comments. What's the worst turbulence you've ever experienced? Did you scream or were you too busy pretending to be calm? And if you love learning about crazy facts and hidden truths, don't forget to like this video. Subscribe to YX for more mind-blowing science. Turn on notifications so you never miss an episode. See you in the next video.